Look at that hair. I'm loving it. Good. How are you? Hey. Just got me and Devil sitting here hanging out. What? I don't even have one of those. (laughs) You have a Devil dinosaur plushie? I do. I fangirled a little too hard at New York Comic Con. Um, I think you probably fangirled the right amount to walk away with the (laughs) Devil dinosaur plushie. And let me tell you, I loved all three episodes. They're wonderful. Uh, Libe Casey is fabulous. She's like spunky and perfect. Um, I didn't get to introduce myself at New York Comic Con. So um, what I do is Geek Mom, we really talk to families. So um, I'm really trying to talk a little bit about the relationships in the show because that was my biggest theme as a takeaway. Um, And I really love the fact that I get to talk to the two of you together because you know, what I found was Casey really gives that peer perspective to Lunella, like what she should be as a teenager and Pops offers that experienced perspective. So how would you guys say your characters view themselves in this whole world as a whole? And then how do they feel they help with Lunella's journey of self-discovery and relationship building? Yeah, well, I think, you know, Casey is the first person to sort of see Lunella, the potential of what Moon Girl can be. And I think that that's, you know, it's, it's her vision that, you know, that makes that possible, but also like her care for Lunella. And I think that that is the real heart of Casey's, you know, Casey's role in this is like, she is truly a good friend who loves Lunella so much. And I think that, you know, and that's something that like we've really found in, you know, in the way Diamond and I record most of our episodes together and like play, we play together. And like, there's a lot of very, there's a lot of very real love there. And I think that that is, that's really central to like Casey's role in this, I think is like, she is a really good friend. And I hope that, you know, kids walk away looking at like a really beautiful example of like female friendship in this. Oh. And I'm going to ask a quick follow up question because we don't get we see Casey alone, but she really should be the kid who's like super popular. Do we know anything about about that backstory? Um, I don't Am know. I asking a spoiler? <laughs> <laughs> and like what episodes am I? Like? Well, no, I mean, I think like, you know, I think that that's the thing about being a middle schooler, you know, like you don't really know your power. You don't know who you, she's just kind of like, she is who she is. And I think that she, but maybe hasn't like found the power in that yet until she meets Lunella and then she meets Lunella and they sort of bring the power out in each other. And like, they both sort of come into their own together and um, yeah, have this very sweet, real friendship that they elevate each other and help them come into their best selves. Oh, I love that. Gary, hey. um, it might be hard to top those answers. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, and and legally, I am. I can't top Libe. Legally, yeah. <laughs> there's we've signed the paperwork. There was an NDA that I am blowing now. I cannot legally. Top her. Uh, I, I the I think there's uh, something cool about Pops. So it's kind of a double sided situation. He knows his granddaughter. And he loves his granddaughter and he is there fully to support her. He he understands that he's not as smart as she is. Uh, he's a great roller skater, so he's got that skill. And he thinks that his granddaughter gets all her physical skills from him. But he does not know that she is Moon Girl, he, who he is also a huge fan of Moon Girl. He's like one of the biggest fans of Moon Girl. So he has these two women in his life, those two specifically, including his I guess I love the fact also that he just loves women, but um, <laughs> but he has these two women in his life that he really admires and loves for totally different reasons. One is both of them are his granddaughter, but it's two different sides of them. One is this super butt kicking hero who saves the city and keeps saving the Lower East Side and New York as a whole. And then the other is his his granddaughter, who he who he admires her brain and her wits and is confused by how smart she is. Uh, So I think that's cool getting to play. Oh, baby, I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh my gosh. Look, Moon Girl is here. Wow. 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 Isn't she amazing? Like to be able to tell your granddaughter how amazing she is without even knowing that it's your granddaughter you're talking to. Oh, I love that. And Pops is a great example of what to do without, 
remove what he what it looks like to remove toxic toxic masculinity. He's just so giving and caring. He is. He cares about he cares about his family. He loves his wife. I think he knows. Look, I know what my skill set is in life, you know, and I know what their skill set is in life. And everybody's got their own thing. Let's all work together and do do this thing that whether that comes to family or community or the roller rink is like he's not going to be threatened by someone who's smarter or better at something than he is in that sense. You know, I, I, I love how welcoming and loving he is to everyone around him. I love accepting it. of who he is, you know. I love that. I love that. That whole through line. Um, so I'm good, Don. Thank you. Thank you, Karen.